Hey you scuba Steve Whiskey Tango Foxtrot makers. How the heck are ya? Friendly Neighborhood Kamikolo Z coming at you live via recording in Arizona. Um, I haven't made one of these in like a week, maybe more. Um, reason uh, is is some, some work stresses that I was having that built up and built up and uh, I ended up getting uh, asked to step down as a manager and take the role as a lead automator um, which will be good it'll get me back in the code um, I was told to kind of stay out of it the the coding portion the actual doing the job um, so I'm a couple years out of practice and I told my new manager and team members that and they said yeah it's fine just get up to speed so it, last couple days have been a lot of uh, review and a lot of uh, taking instruction and trying to figure things out. Um, it's like starting a new job with the whole fire hose mentality, but you, I'm at the same place. Um, and that, that was really difficult for me to be okay with, to uh, get acceptance with. And so every time I started making a video, it I got emotional, I would get uh, angry, and I just didn't want to um, play anymore. Um, yeah, so I'm, I've been trying to keep myself busy, trying to keep myself occupied so that I can't get the opportunity to have a, have a, complacent time where my mind can wander back to it and, and find other reasons to be angry. Um, so I've been working on my my canopy uh, for my for my truck, my shell. Um, and so uh, the idea came up, my, my pop uh, recommended that I try PVC, so I went to the Home Depot today. I got some, I was gonna get two inch PVC, but when I got there and looked at it, two inch was just much bigger than I was expecting. So I grabbed one and a half inch. That was more along the lines of the size I was expecting to be getting. And I uh, very quickly, uh, very non-exactly, I guess I should say, I uh, put together a kind of a rectangular piece of PVC that I did some quick math in my head and it's just an estimation. If anything, it's a little, it's a little too big but it's one fourth of the length of the um, uh, bedding basically um, and so I'm gonna have like four of these together you'll you'll see I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you you'll see uh, that you know it has empty ends I can I can stick into I'm basically gonna get uh, a whole bunch of H's and put them up into a straight line and make this double-sided kind of brace. And anyway, it's I can't really show you with this. I'd have to draw a picture. Um, anyway, uh, since this will likely be the um, the Lego piece that I use to make the rest of the, the canopy, um, I want to do some stress tests on it to see if it would hold up under the uh, stress and pressure of, of weight. Um, and so I have, I have it set up here and I have a couple of uh, jacks that are holding it up um, and I'm going to do some stress tests. And it's really just one stress test. I'm going to do it with the PVC and then I'm going to do it with the, the aluminum. Um, but the, the one test I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to stand on it and see if it'll hold me or if it's going to shatter. Now, I, I, don't, I don't care if I lose this piece because, again, it was non-exact and it's, it is actually a little bit, like, crooked. So um, I just need to test out the... the uh, longest piece of PVC to see if it can hold up a bunch of weight. 
Um, and I figure if I can get me up on on one of those pieces and it doesn't break, um, then the overall structural integrity of the entire thing will be immense and likely very sufficient. If it shatters, um, I'll uh, I'll have to rethink some things um, and maybe just go with the aluminum. But I'm going to do the, the test with the aluminum right after um, to see if the aluminum bends too much, if it uh, if it bends at all, if it just bounces, if there's just a little bit of give what it snaps back to. Um, anyway, but I figured you guys would get somewhat of a kick out of this, so I thought I'd uh, share with you what that's going to look like. Um, so let's give it a go here and see how things look. Uh, so here, here's the piece. You can see, um, let me get my finger in here, right there, right at the end. That's where pieces will be coming off. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I don't think you can see anything, can you? Can we move this piece down? Hold on. <laughs> Okay. Okay, you can kind of, I hope you can still see it. Okay. So I feel okay about standing on this because as I was making it, I was putting a lot of weight onto it. And it, uh, it wasn't, um, it wasn't really giving any. It was actually hurting me while I was pushing it. Um, actually, actually, Turn this upside down. There's a piece here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not like, like, it's not a good point. This side is a little bit straighter. I'm just worried that when I stand on this, it's gonna like slip off. Or I'm gonna go flying. That's holding pretty good then. There's all my weight right there. Yeah, okay, let's try the bottom piece. So I'll turn it around this way, since it has that weak side. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So, to grab the aluminum, I'm not certain if the this is one inch T connector aluminum. I believe 8020. Um, I don't think it should matter for that. It's just the points of contact here. Yeah, that feels very solid. Now, that would not be how I would set up the aluminum. The aluminum would be at the longest point of contact, uh, about 76 inches. So let me do some measuring here. from this one something like that okay now this would be how long it would be um, if I didn't do PVC. So let me give this a go. Ooh, it's a lot of bend to that. 
that would not be standing on this. I'm afraid it would either snap or it would three stooges me. So let's cut that in half then, ish. About there. There's actually still quite a bit of give to it. Um, so, yeah, based off that, I'd have to say that PVC would probably be the stronger option, the better option. Um, now, I was going to use like weights and a fish scale and all that, but I was going to do that if it was close. You know, I have like 180 pounds of free weights laying around plates um, that I could just start stacking on top of it. But the there's a certain cost point um, I'm looking to stay within. And if it's giving out that much about halfway down, that means I'll have to build the aluminum frame in the same design and pattern as I would build the PVC. And between the two, it looks like, you know, even if the aluminum is stronger, um, I don't need it to hold more weight than my body weight. And the PVC has proven that I can do that. So I am uh, happy with the result of the PVC and I'm not spending five times as much on getting a bunch of aluminum. Um, now i got to figure out what to do with that piece of aluminum. <laughs> it's not going to fit in the back of my truck, um, so I'll have to cut it up or something with my hacksaw. But, yeah, I'm going to sit down, figure out the math, because the, the difficult thing with the PVC and the reason why it's a little bit skewampus like that is when I was cutting it with the hacksaw, you know, the, the blade on that tends to bend, and when it bends, it starts to follow its own groove, and you end up with pieces of PVC that have like, you know, it's flush on one side and then it's kind of like has a tip on the other side. And so I want to avoid the tip as much as possible. Um, I wonder how many times that's been said, uh, but not necessarily by guys. Anyway, so um, I might invest into a reciprocating saw for this, I don't think I'll, I want to use a table saw uh, for this, or maybe a, maybe a miter saw. I don't I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to see what I have. I don't I don't have like this. This is my tool area right here. It's a coffee table. Like I don't have a tool bench or anything around here. All I have is a coffee table and some chairs. Like I. Like I put the PVC under that little lip there next to the, the scale and leaned it up against the chair here to cut it. And that's probably why it was a bit crooked and a little bit pointed. So I need to figure out a way to get it to be flush and flat with the cuts. Maybe a miter saw would be best. Um, so I'll have to go and look into a miter saw. And then I will have to do... Um, very precise cuts and measurements because the the pieces from the PVC there, like the uh, the 90 degree joint and the T joints, um, are I think they go in about one and three quarter no one and three eighths inches in, um, and and so I have to account for that in the measurement. It goes in one and three quarter one and three eighths inch. But then the actual width of it, I have to, I have to do some math with it. I have to do some figuring out because um, I really don't want it hanging over by a couple of inches. But I also don't want it to be short by a couple of inches on either, on either, in either way I look at it, it's just not going to be great. Now I've already ordered four um, self-locking toggle clamps because I figured those are going to be used regardless. And it basically, once I put the PVC down. I'll have some sort of mounting bracket I'll have installed onto the truck that these these toggle clamps will sit on top of. And then once the PVC pipe comes down in, these will come down, lock into place, and then force it down. Like, 
Um, it's kind of hard to explain it exactly, but um, I'm gonna have to drill some holes into the into the top and the bed of my truck, like the the side of the truck. I'll have to drill a few holes down in um, to lock these things in place, because um, I want to have fixed locks and a removable removable shell. And so I got to I got to get eight pieces of probably wood. Uh, all the same size, get them, get all the holes drilled, get all the, um, and, uh, bolts done up and put into place. Um, and then I got to put all the clamps down into place. And then after I get the clamps down and then I get this built, I should be able to put the shell onto the truck, clamp it down. And even without the canvas, in place um, be able to see if that's okay use a sander to bring it down a little bit if I have to um, anyway anyway I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it in my head as I'm going but you guys aren't in my head so I, I I'm just saying words at this point anyway so um, yeah I'm very I'm very happy with <clears throat> the results of that there's a jet flying by overhead um, so that's that's gonna be especially fun for right now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, PVC it is. Uh, I could probably do some like estimations to figure out how many ten foot lengths I need, and then figure out how many um, T junctions I need based off of this design, and how many elbows I'll need based off this design um, and then if I can do that in the next couple of days I could potentially go down to Home Depot on Saturday and pick up all the pieces that I need um, order the canvas and the uh, canvas snaps um, and then uh, th there is one piece that got a figure out um so the cover that's currently on my my truck i was taking a look at how it was how it's built and it, it's very much so like a shell like it has those those metal clamps that don't look like they bend but as you put pressure into a a, a bolt it does get tighter and it gets very very tight so after I remove remove four of those the whole thing will just come off but because it's a clamp there's nothing really to clamp onto the PVC and so I uh, I don't quite know how I'm gonna get that to attach so what I might end up doing I might end up removing that entirely storing it for now or seeing if you know how much they are online and seeing if anyone wants to buy it um and depending on the cost of it i could end up getting this essentially for free based off of the cost of some of the other uh covers um, but then for the the top of this i would have to do a uh um i don't know some sort of uh I don't I don't want to do canvas for the top because if, if I'm gonna be using this for sleeping it would be really cool to have it have it be clear you know um, so I might look at some sort of clear fabric or not clear fabric a clear material like what they would use for a clear umbrella I don't, I don't know what, the, what that is uh, urethane or something um, and then sewing that onto the canvas um to uh provide waterproofing to keep it waterproof and to make a a kind of like a skylight to look out of um that does mean that during the middle of the day it'll get very warm in there because the sun will refract the light and the heat will, will plume out um but i mean i could also potentially have layers have it be clear um with the option of closing it or even be clear with the 
with other layers like one to close it and then a net underneath so if I want to open up the top so it's cooler I can I can do that anyway that's all that's all like making it prettier down the road I got to make it functional first so yeah that's kind of what I'm uh, I'm looking at what I'm going for um, I'm trying to stay busy with it trying to stay uh, active and positive and so yeah, I, I hope I'm finding everyone right now positive and happy and doing well, uh, keeping busy. Uh, if there's a project you've been thinking of doing and you're just, you've just been sitting on it because you're unsure of it, just try it. Just go out and do something with it. It'll get your mind going. It'll get the, the creative juices flowing. And uh, it doesn't even have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be complex. It can be complex. But just kind of work at it, think about it, jot some stuff down type into Google like um, online CAD program and there are a couple out there that are for free and you can jump in and start designing things um, but get, give it a try uh, you might find you like it and and it and it helps so anyway that's it for the video for today I'm sorry again that I haven't made one of these in a while um, I'm trying to push through things trying to be happy and uh, yeah, I recommend that y'all do the same. Um, oh, there's a bunny rabbit. Hey, Mr. Wabbit. Hey. Let me just jump through the fence. Okay. Anyway. Um, take care. Keep smiling. And we'll see you in the next video.